Hello, SFDC folks. I hope everyone is doing good. So I am back to introduce you with cool features of Salesforce. And today I am going to talk about how we can count the size of the list inside the flow without using loop. Yes, we can get the size of the list without iterating over that list or we, we don't need to use any Apex class as well. We'll show you how we can do this. We'll first create a screen flow, which I've already created, but yet to be configured. And inside that screen flow, what will I do is I'll first fetch the records that whose list, whose size I want to count. So the records will already be fetched in the form of list. Then we'll count the size of that list and display as a in the screen element. Let's first get the records. We'll query all the account records. Let's select the object as account. We won't use any filter as such so that all the records are fetched. All records. Then done. Now what will I do is I will perform such operation to assign the size of the above list records that have been fetched. So before assigning what will I have to do is I have to first create a variable where I would store that particular uh, list size. Okay. So let me let's create a new variable. Let's name it as list size. And data type will be number with zero decimal places. And that is all we need to do here. Now we will use the assignment of element to assign the size of the list into this newly created variable. Let's name it this element as assign list size. Now in the variable component, you will use this variable that you have just created, the number variable. And under the operator section, you will find a drop down option called equals count. Select this. And in the value, you have to select the get record element the list of records that have been fetched from that get record element which is accounts from account records so what will it do is it will count the size of this particular list and store into this list size variable as part of this assignment element now we will create a screen element to show that list size to display that somewhere so that we are aware what is stored in that let's name this element as display size and we'll drag one display text element from here and drag it over to the screen. Let's name it as display size again. Yeah, so we'll provide some text before actually uh, showing the variable value. Let's say size of list. Okay, then we'll just put that variable name whose value we want to provide over here so it will it should show like size of list and then the number which is the size of the list let's keep make it done save before debugging it we'll first check how many records are there in our org so let's query this select id common name from account it will give us all the records of the account object yeah so there are 1012 records in our org right now let's debug our flow And uh, it will fetch the records first, then assign the list of the size and then display that size over here. So you can see in the screen element, it is showing the size of the list. So we don't have to iterate over anything. It's just that one assignment operator is used where this operator called equals count can count the size of that entire list at once. So this is all. Thanks for watching. Thank you.